Yo guys, it's your boy Williams Fitness, back again, the consistency is incredible. <laughs> well, so, Vancouver Pro 2019, what can I say, Hadi Chapan did step it up, he stepped into the men's open bodybuilding, which was fucking amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, obviously he was down and he signed up for the 212, which again was fantastic because he was in Canada. Everybody was it was psyched to see him over in the States, well, stateside, should I say. And it was brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do, do is just quickly go through the results, uh, the top five from uh, Men's Open, straight down to Classic, and then we'll just touch on the details of everything that happened. So Men's Open, obviously, Hadi Japan. And I'm going to go through it like this because, obviously, some people just want the information straight away, and I don't want to drag a fucking video out. And so, you, you know I mean, you've got to skip through to try and find out who won. So, first place was Hedy Japan. This was Men's Open as well. Second place was Nathan Diasher. Third was Lucas Osladil. Fourth was Lane Valeri. Fifth, Josh Wade. Men's 2 1 2. First place, Zane Watson. Second, Ball at OX. Third, Steve Bentham. Fourth, Prince Bobang. Classic physique. First place was Antoine Ham Hamlet. Second was Chris White, third Isaac Blair, four George Herrera, five, uh, fifth, five, fifth Michael Kings North. So quickly, so men's open bodybuilding results. Um, obviously, Hadi came first. I obviously had Nathan Diasha pipped for first place. That was on the premise that Hadi wasn't um, actually going to step up to the open. He did say. Uh, earlier on, he was going to do it, but on paper, he was still down as a 2 1 2. So, my last previous video for the build up to it, I was on the fence because I didn't, I just genuinely didn't know if he was actually going to do it. He did. I still would have had Nathan um, for a win just because he's my boy, he's, he's, he's UK, and I've got to obviously support hometown first. Um, but had he brought it, and to be fair, Nathan, I'm going to show you some clips now. It got quite aggressive on stage with the, with the. Uh, with, it got quite aggressive on stage with the posing. I mean, there was pushing, pulling. It, it, just, it was like, yo, what the fuck? So I got to a point where had he eventually had to because Nathan was just literally covering him in, in every pose, every shot. And I don't know if that was because Nathan thought had he looked better and he thought he, he was just trying to get in front of him. Or it was psychological, like it was some sort of, uh, like how Arnie used to do back in the day. Uh, I don't know what it was. It reminded me of like Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler-esque type escapade going on on stage. It was pretty funny to watch. Uh, Hadi did still still take the win, and they both did look absolutely incredible. I do want to shout out Lucas Osladil, because I did say he'd be top three. He never always comes fully peeled, but he did look brilliant on the day. Right, I'm going to skip straight to Zane, Zane Watson um, from the 2 1 2. I did say if Hadi um, was in the 2 1 2, Zane had come second. Zane took first place because um, obviously Hadi was in the open. Zane looks fucking incredible. Absolutely incredible. And like I said in my last video, I wasn't trying to take anything away from Zane when I thought Hadi might be in the 2 1 2. I just knew Hadi. Had more muscle maturity on him than Zane did, and Zane didn't fucking fail to disappoint anybody. He looked incredible. Here's some sneaky clips I've got. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to monetize this video because I thought I can't just keep putting photos. I'm going to have to give you guys something to watch instead of listening to my droning British voice. Um, well, obviously, you can see he looked he looked incredible. Uh, Bowler came second, it didn't look too bad. Now, I am going to skip straight over to Classic Physique because my boy Antoine High Top Hamlet looks sick. He looks sick, and I'm tagging him in this video on Instagram because that's my, my, my boy, that's my G. <laughs> Antoine, you fucking killed it, brother. I honestly can't wait to see, and I'm not taking anything away from your year this year. I can't wait to see what you bring in 2020, brother. Honestly, I really cannot. And you know what? Guys, I don't normally like shout people out to follow on Instagram, this, that, and the other. But High Top, honestly, is, is, is such a nice dude. And I, you watch his Instagram stories, and he he, he doesn't like preach, but he, he, he kind of gets a lot of valid points across. And not just on like bodybuilding and sport and etc., 
but on life, about getting your shit together. Um, and he's just really enter- entertaining dude. I've spoke to him a few times, um, back and forth over, you know, little things. I wouldn't say we're friends. I'd love to, to have him on the channel at some point. He is an absolute G, honestly. And so I'm really big congratulations, brother. I'm, I'm super, super stoked for you. Can't wait to see what you bring in the future. Uh, again, for Zayn as well. Zayn, it was a, it was a big win for Zayn. I don't, you know, he, he did have some competition on that stage. It's not like people just randomly turned up and thought, I'll, I'll try today. Obviously, everybody went with the intention to win. So I'm not trying to shun anything away from Zayn. Zayn killed it. Nathan, unfortunately, you know, it was a good show for the fact that Hadi did ch- turn up. And, you know, Hadi has been buying at the tooth to, to get on a stage with some of you big boys for, for some time. So it's it's a really good good win for Hadi. It's a good win for Hanny. Obviously, Hanny is uh, not just Hadi's coach. He, he also coaches uh, the likes of Phil Heath um, and Jeremy Buendia. Uh, but we won't get into that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a good win for Hanny to start out um, pretty much this season with his athletes. So overall, guys, let's comment below. I want obviously first first point of call on this conversation is what do you guys think for Hadi stepping up to open? Do you think um, obviously he did take the win against Nathan, but that's just against Nathan and Lucas. Uh, Lane did look sick. Josh did look sick. Uh, but again, it's just some some guys. It's just stepping stones and getting slowly up those placements. With bodybuilding, you can't just go from fifth to to first. It's 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 long winded and a lot of work. So in the space of the next twelve months, who knows what could happen for for Lane and Josh and even Lucas if he steps his game up a little bit more or maybe switches out coaches. Um, but comment, guys. Honestly, I want to have a conversation about Hadi. I mean, do look sick. Do look sick. That the battle with Nathan was sick. Maybe it was a bit OTT. I don't know. Um, it was just entertaining. It was. It wasn't just like five guys lined up. Right, let's flat do this pose. Do this pose. It was a fucking actual battle. That's what I loved about it. Um, Hadi actually just had to fuck off and go to the end of the end of the line, um, which kind of didn't put him centre stage. But still, it is what it is. Do you think Hadi? Could compete with the big boys. I'm not saying Nathan isn't, but you line him up against people like Brandon Curry this year, William Bonac. If he ever got on that Olympia stage, where do you think Hadi had he place? Do you think Hadi would do the Olympia two on two against the, the, the likes of obviously Zane it would be and Flex Lewis, etc.? Where do you think he'd be? I mean, I, I think he'd be a top five. I don't think he'd be a top three, unfortunately. He, he just. I don't know. Oh, that's hard. Oh, I love it. <laughs> But again, uh, shout out to Hadi Japan, sick win. Uh, unfortunately, Nave took second, but you know Nathan, Nathan's still having a brilliant year. Uh, shout out to Zane Watson taking first in the two one two, killed it. And then uh, my G Antoine Hamlet, yes, smashed it. Can't wait to see what you do this year, brother. Fucking killed it. Oh, stoked, mate. Stoked for you, honestly. So Ab and me, you and you, drop some comments. Do you think? Oh, guys. If you're not subscribed, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Um, obviously, I took some time out when my father passed away, and I lost a, a, a whole bunch of subs. Honestly, we're talking two or three thousand when I took my time out. So I'm trying to get back to where I was when I when I took the time out. And I need some of you guys to hit that little notification bell. If you regulars, because I know a lot of y'all keep coming back, and I love you guys for all the support you've shown me over the last few months, especially with taking time out. Uh, to help my family out with, um, you know, when my father passing and stuff. Uh, so I just want to take this time um, and this moment to, to thank you, to thank you for your comments, because it, it's the same sort of people I'm seeing in the comments section that I'm replying to, having awesome conversations. And then get on, get at me on Instagram, guys, because I'm posting a lot more on Instagram nowadays. And I'm trying to get more of me out there, not just about bodybuilding. And So you can kind of relate to me as a person, and do you, you know what I'm saying? So obviously it's uh, Williams underscore fitness underscore official. Try not remember it. Just fucking type Williams fitness in or something. Or there's a be a link in, in the description. Click the link. I don't have to fucking remember that. It's probably long winded. <laughs> but yeah, hit that notifications bell, guys, because it really, really does help. Obviously, if I upload a video and then I get you know, a thousand of you just hit the view button straight away. It really does help rank that video up. The likes help the video. 
Um, but yeah, so please guys, I really do appreciate you all. I love you all. I do reply to you all. Uh, I'm not no type of me. You've been you. Love you. Peace. Something like, ain't nothing, ain't nothing crazy. But yeah, man, as usual, thank you so much for your love and support, guys. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on. My mind is so numb. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm rambling. But uh, thank you. Much love to everyone, man. Till I come home. Yo, y'all stay blessed out there. Be motivated. Like I said, everyone that truly supported me, truly repped your boy from day one all the way back to when I first competed. Yo, this wins for you guys, man. We're going to keep winning together. God bless.